everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and welcome, welcome to today's Make It Monday event. We are featuring Couture Creations. We have over $90 worth of their product for $19.99. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. So if you are new to our channel and you are joining us during the premiere, which is 5 p.m. sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central or 8 p.m. Eastern, there might be a live chat going on over here. If that's the case, we encourage you to pop on and type on in and say hello, hello. I am Stacy from Canyon Country, California. You tell me where you're from and, and with so many of us on the live chat, usually hundreds of us, somebody will say, hey, good to have you here, hello. <laughs> We're always looking forward to meeting new crafty friends. Now a Make It Monday event. What is a Make It Monday event? Well, it's where we bring you not necessarily the latest from our most favorite manufacturers, but definitely some of the greatest from our most favorite manufacturers. In fact, the product I have for from Couture Creations is absolutely amazing. And I think that this product came to be because a large, a large retailer for them canceled an order. So I think that's how this product came to be because when you see it, you will agree it is beautiful. So I believe a large retailer canceled an order. Now that doesn't mean that we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. Oh no, we're limited. We were limited to what that order was that got canceled, but I couldn't pass it up because it's so good. The value over $90, the bundle price $19.99. That's how our Make It Mondays generally work. They're an amazing time where I show you everything that's in the bundle. You're going to see it all. And then I'm gonna play with the bundle just a little bit. I'm gonna pull a stamp out and we're gonna do something with it. And then I have finished samples for you at the end. Now these orders, these orders qualify for expedited shipping if you follow the little, the little criteria that's in the Make It Monday category. Please read that paragraph because it does explain that to have an order expedited to you, which means we get it out to you faster, it can only contain items in this category. You can't add a little bit of this from the YouTube Yummies or a little bit of that from, a, I don't know, a past or a Thursday expedite event going on right now. You can if you don't want us to get it out to you sooner. If you just keep it to this one category, we're able to get those orders out faster because we handle them downstairs when the store is slow. I pull orders, Renee pulls orders, Claire pulls orders. So, <laughs> so that's how we're able to expedite things out. Now, oh my gosh, there's so much to play with today. And I think I'm going to incorporate in a little bit of the YouTube because I can get I believe I can get the four sets of Marabou crayons. I can't get the shimmers in time for Expedite, but I think I can get those four sets of Marabou crayons here in time to include them as part of the Expedited sale. So I think I'm gonna do that because we're going to use them today. So much to show, so much to share. If you, uh, please remember the product will not be made live until I say ready, set, go. So if you are live chatting with us during the premiere, you can't find the product on our site yet. Not yet. As soon as I say ready, set, go, which will be at the end of today's class, then I will literally click the product on and make it live for you. If you are watching this and it's not the premiere because there's no live chat going on, there's no live chat. The sale already may be going. You may be able to bebop on over there and get your $19.99 bundle easy peasy or it could be that this class has long been done and the brundles are no longer available once this class is done and we move on to our next one next monday i will take this video and move it down to past make it mondays there's a playlist that says past make it mondays that way you can refer back to this class once you receive your products oh so much to show and so much to share i'm excited I wanna give a big thanks to everybody at Couture Creations for the beautiful samples and getting everything bundled and here. For those of you who are, who are new, just know that these are limited and we only can sell what we have. 
So I don't have oodles and oodles and oodles of these. They are done on a first come first serve. But if for some reason you were to miss out, please fill out the notify me list on our website because people cancel their orders all the time. It happens or they don't pay for them. <laughs> You're like, they don't pay for them. Yes, read the little criteria to make sure that your order is going to qualify for expedited shipping. So I'm gonna tilt down. I'm gonna get started for today. It's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com with another amazing Make It Monday event. And remember, the items will not be brought out in open stock. You can't just buy one of this or one of that. If you see two things you love, it's either the bundle or it isn't. <laughs> so when we're doing it for $19.99, we don't do open stock. So you either buy the bundle, and if there's one or two things you're not crazy about, you share it with your crafty friends, or you just pass in, in totality. Whichever works best for you, we always leave it in your hands to make the best decision for you and your crafty journey. All right, I'm gonna tilt down for today. We're gonna get started. Are you ready? Okay, so it's $90.34 for $19.99. Let's play. Let's see what's in it. It's good to see everybody. Bye. Down we go. Zoom on in. Okay, and we're gonna even we're gonna use some of the things I used in this week's Saturday with Stacy YouTube class because I'm pretty positive that Marabou Michael can get them to me pretty quickly so I can fulfill your expedited orders. So here is our bundle. There's your price. It's not $90, it's $19.99. Let's see what's in it. Okay, I have got, aren't these so cute? Little, little clips, little, clothespin clips that have little bubble sayings on them. So cute as little embellishments. Those are darling. Okay, I like those. Oh, I've got some die cut ephemera. Pretty, oh look at you can see everything that's on the back. Pretty, right? All of this and all of this, I don't know if that's gonna zoom, comes in here. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, I have a tape cutter, which I'm going to show you how to use. I have got five different stamps. So this one, there's, I think, three florals and three florals and two butterflies. Gosh, that doesn't fit. I want them to line up so you can see them. Hmm. There you go so there's one stamp set that worked better <laughs> we'll put it back together again and well since I've opened it maybe this will be the one somebody will get theirs for free they'll get a refund and they'll get theirs for free there's the next stamp set and There's the next stamp set. So I should have done that. I should have just pulled them all out. And that way I could show them all to you. Because you can't see what's behind. Okay, here's the next one. There's the next stamp set. And then the last one. So you're going to get five stamps. You've got the, the die cut ephemera. You've got the cute little clippies to add. Look at one, two, three, four, five. And then to finish it off, 
He's given you 300 GSM cotton watercolor paper in an A4 size. I want to say that there's, is there 10 sheets? 10 sheets of watercolor paper. So inside the bundle, you've got the watercolor paper. You've got one, two, three, four, five different stamp sets. You've got the tape cutter. You've got the ephemera. And you've got the cute little embellishments to add on to. All of this, all of this is for $19.99, everything you see over a $90 value. That's that's pretty good, I think. Yay, right? I'm in agreement with the yay. All right, so let's play with it, shall we? Let's do something with it. And I'm gonna start with the watercolor paper. So it's a 300 GSM. You've got kind of a smooth on one side and a more textured on the other. I think I'm going to chop it on down and we're going to stamp. All right, what stamp do we want to play with? How about How about the poppies? So the poppies I'm going to bring over my craft block, my stamping block. My stamp is a clear stamp, so it's going to cling right to my block. My block's a little dirty. I'm okay with that. You've got words as well, so I've got the words, thinking of you, best friends, you brighten my day. All the stamp sets come with different words. Hard to see them. Easier if I do it with. Word. Oh, here they are. So easier if I do it here. So spread your wings and fly comes with the butterfly. Just for you, all you have to do is fly comes with that butterfly. So these are sentiments that are included. Happy birthday and with love is with the tulips. You brighten my day thinking of you and best friends comes with the poppies and with the daffodils you get best wishes and just for you. So you know each set comes with some sentiments so that you can start crafting the minute you get them. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Jacquard color pad dye based ink. This is a waterproof ink which means that I can use it, I can put watercolors down, and this ink is not going to smudge. That's super, super important. It also means that it may stain your stamp. I'm okay with that because once my stamp is stained, first off, it's easier for me to see, and two, it does not bleed into any other color should you decide to stamp with another color. So I'm going to ink up my stamp, I'm going to come over, I'm going to press it down, and I'm going to do one, two, three, A, B, C, and pull up. Oh, not bad. For a first go around, I'm okay with that. I think I might also do, how about, maybe I'll do the daffodils. Or should I do a butterfly? Let's do a butterfly. Since I've got this paper right here, I'm gonna pull my butterfly right off. And you can see it's completely clear right now, but after I stamp with it, it is possible. Oh, I didn't wanna pull off the little butterfly. You stay there, I just want my big guy. It is possible that it will stain the stamp. Need my little butterfly here either, although he's certainly cute. 
All right, now that it's off, it's going to go on and off my liner much easier. So let's go ahead. Oh, see, he's such a cute little butterfly. Let's go ahead and ink him up. And we'll stamp him too. So the black ink is waterproof. I can use it with Ozzy Andrew with Couture Creations alcohol ink markers. I can use it with Copics. I can use it with any kind of a permanent based ink marker because permanent based ink markers are alcohol based. I can use it with any kind of watercolor because it's not going to smudge. One, two, three, A, B, C. Now this is my first time stamping with the stamp, so we'll see if I needed to stamp off or if it's gonna be good. Oh, I'm on the, okay, so this is good to show you. I'm on the more textured side, and you can see that texture coming through. I think I'm just gonna flip it around and stamp again on the smoother side of my watercolor paper. And give a good press. Chest compressions like this aren't going to help. If you have a stamp positioner, that's a really nice way to stamp. I'm a fly by my seat of the pants kind of girl and I just kind of go. Oh yeah, much better. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Gosh, and I might even be able to take, oh no, that one's got a, it's got a frame around it. Gosh, I might even be able to take my other one and stamp it right there so my butterfly looks like he stamped right on it. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to play with this. I've got this cute little guy, too. Do I have a small little block? This is part of the butterfly stamp set, and he's just so darn cute. Oh yeah, he's so cute. Oh, love it. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> love it. Do I want to put one? No, maybe just one. All right, let's color. Let's see what we do. So, at this point, you have to decide how you want to color this stamp. Do you want to use your alcohol ink markers? Do you want to use your watercolor pencils? Do you want to use your colored pencils? Although colored pencils on, on watercolor pencil or paper seems kind of like a waste because you can use those just on basic paper. But since I've got watercolor paper, I'm going to bring out the Marabou that I was using during this week's Saturday with Stacy class. I'm not going to be playing with the shimmers today because I don't think I can get them in in time to get you a expedited shipping but I do think these come in four packs so I do think that I'm able to probably get the four packs in time and there's there's a couple different let's see it I think it's this one and that one I don't know if the yellows go with the greens there's four different packs that make up Maybe the pinks go here. I'm thinking that this is one set of four, and maybe that's another set of four. So there are four distinct sets of four. I know this is one, I'm missing one color. Don't know what color I'm missing, but I'm missing a single color. So I'm gonna use these today, and these are, and there's one that's missing. There's a color here that needs to go, but I can't, I'm not sure which one it is. We'll find it. These are a, a soft pastel crayon. 
and they work like a dream. They are meant to use with water. They just love water. They think water is awesome. And Marabou does them better than anybody else. Look at how much you get. It's highly pigmented. They are a fine art medium at a Wahoo Kachu price for every level of crafter. I mean, they really are an amazing value. These only come in the sets right now, but like I said, I think I can get the sets here in time for expedited shipping. The minute I finish taping this, I'm gonna go talk to Marabou Michael and say, send them, send them, send them. So let's play with them. The easiest way to color with them is either get them wet with your paintbrush and you can do a direct tip to tip blend. I, in the YouTube, I used a baby wipe to make it happen. So on the YouTube, I took and used a baby wipe to add color to something. They're completely blendable. Completely blendable. And on watercolor paper, they even go further than they do on just standard cardstock. I used regular cardstock for the YouTube, but my gosh, you can just blend and blend and blend. That's how easy these are to use. I'm going to palette, or I'm going to paint with them. I'm not even going to palette paint. I'm going to take the paint straight off the crayon to show you just how simple it can be. Let's see, which paintbrush do I want to use? I think that one looks pretty good. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint. I'm going to go from crayon to paintbrush and then come in and paint. In fact, maybe that one's a little bit big. That one feels good. So I'm going to go from crayon to paintbrush and then paint. To be able to do that, I do need to have some water available. So I'm just going to put a little water down on my craft mat just so I can go in and pick up. This one's got some red in it. Let's wipe it down. And then I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to pick up the color straight from my crayon. And I can come in here and start to paint with it. Now I'm just going to put it all over. I'm going to get a base of yellow kind of all over. If I need a little more water, I pick up a little more water. The beautiful thing about these is they love water. If you were using watercolor pencils, you would lay your color down and then you would need to maybe let it dry a little bit before you come back. You can't put watercolor pencil, like I could rub this on here right now and it wouldn't cause a, a problem at all, but if you kept your watercolor pencil and you wanted to add more color to it and you took your watercolor pencil and went straight to your paper and your paper was wet, it would leave scratch marks. So Marabou isn't like that because it is a soft pastel and it's so forgiving and so easy. And they've made them, at least for Scrapbooking Made Simple, for our YouTube that we did on Saturday, they made them super affordable. Marabou Michael said, I wanna make a splash. So I could just come in and start adding color. And then I can pick up my next color. Now if I want to, and you can see that my you can see that my my ink has not smeared everywhere, even though I've gone right over the top of it with water. If I want, I can add and come back and I can add depth of color and just keep adding yellow and layering that color until it gets darker and darker and darker. But I wanna play with a few other colors. How about we bring in an orange? Orange. Same thing, a little bit of water on my brush and I'm just gonna pick it up with my paintbrush. And 
and I can start adding some orange. And the more I wipe off with my fingers, the lighter that orange becomes, almost to a point where you're doing a dry brush with them. But I've got that base of yellow down, so I've got a good foundation. I just wanted to make sure that there was no, no white poking on through. So I just added a little bit of that yellow. And now I can start coming in and coloring. Again, I'm not putting it down on anything to pick it up. I could if I wanted to. But it is just as easy with marabou crayons to just pick it right up off the crayon. And then I'm going to pull some of my color off and blend out what I've got on my on my flower right now. Pull some of that color off. I'm pulling off the color and the water. So it allows me to move that color out and soften it and create a shadow and a shade. So now I'm starting to add another layer of color. If I want to make it darker, I come in. And I add some more. The less water you have on the brush, the more intense the color will be on your paper. And then if you don't like it, you add water and you pick up some of that color. You're definitely not stuck. My brush is almost dry. Let's do that last one. So I added some more water back in because I need to have it move a little bit. I need to make it into a paint. And then I'm going to start to pull the color off. So I'm going to take it off my brush and start moving it out and take it off my brush and keep moving it out. And every time I take it off my brush, it's giving me a dry brush that allows me to feather that color out. Now I could come back in and it's water soluble, so no, you're obviously water soluble. So I could come back in and even add a little bit of a red if I wanted to. That's not the red I want. I want red red. There's the color I'm missing. Hello red. I knew I was missing color. <laughs> okay. I want my red red. Put some red red down there. So now I'm coming in with a little bit of red red. But what if I took my marabou crayon and I went straight to my paper? What if I added some red right there? And then I take my finger and because they're so creamy, I'm able to just blend it right on out. Add a little bit of red there. And because they're so creamy, I'm able to blend it right on out. Marabou crayons are not like anything else. I 
I can just use my finger to literally smudge. They're that simple to use. If I'm using it straight like this, my color is going to be far more intense. These are highly pigmented. And when I saw the stamps we were using today, I thought, oh, these will work just lovely. They will, they will. So now I can come in with my green. And let's put a little bit more water down because I'm going to pick up that green and come in and color some of my leaves. And the more water you have, the, the less saturated it is. The less water I have on my paintbrush, the more intense the color will be. And just come and paint all of these little stems. And get my leaves done. If I need a little more water, I pick up a little more water. And they're pretty darn simple to color. And then I can take my darker green. Now you could do these with watercolor pencils, with liquid watercolor, with pan pastels. See, I'm just getting that little extra green in there to add a little bit of shading and shadowing. Just a little bit of a darker green to kind of give it a little shade and a little shadow so everything's not just one dimensional. We're looking to not have a, a one dimensional, one note type of finish. We want things to have a little bit of shading, a little bit of shadow, and it's not difficult. And I'm just taking the paint straight from Talk about no fuss, no muss, no mess, right? Okay, now what do we want to do for the two little buds that don't have anything on them yet? Maybe a little bit of yellow. Maybe a little bit of red, just a little bit. Just so they're not too one notey. Maybe a little bit of red on my my butterfly. All right, we're getting there. And I've got no mess. Nothing's going on here. I picked it up straight from my marabou. Now, what if I wanted to add a little bit of a background to it? A little bit of a background to it. How about I come in with a blue? And this time, this time I might palette paint. So I've put some water right here and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pick up some of my blue right from my brush. And I don't wanna go straight to my paper because it's a little bit too blue for me. 
I want to try and get a sky blue. So I'm going to add that color and I'm going to add some water to it and I'm really going to desaturate it. I'm going to dilute it down so I get a super soft blue. That then I can just go all kind of all the way around and give that watercolory look to. You know how they do those backgrounds and they kind of have that beautiful little watercolory look to them. With that super soft blue kind of hanging around. And all I did was water that marabou crown down, water, water, water to dilute that color to give me that soft, sweet sky. It's a background, but it's not. It's not too much. I can even go in and add a little bit more blue, a little bit more water. If I want some of the places a little bit darker, blue, water, blue, water. I could come in and add maybe a little bit more depth of color. But I want it kind of haphazard because it's that watercolory look. all on watercolor paper. Really simple. And no fuss, no muss. You got this. And then I can trim it down. and start to make something with it. Remember though, the bundle, the bundle is only $19.99. That gets you all five stamps. That gets you all the, 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 um, the paper ephemera. It gets you the watercolor paper and gives you an opportunity to play. Now, what do we do with this one? Hmm. Do we want to take this one and maybe dab some of the color on it? I took this one and I started with a super soft purple. Color straight onto my baby wipe. I just kind of dab some of that color right in there. Okay, so let me show you. Dab, 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 dab. Oh no, I went outside the lines. Look at that, I went outside the lines. Whatever am I gonna do? You take your baby wipe and you go in and you erase. Go in there with your baby wipe and lift some of that color back up so your dab, dab, dab is not a problem anymore. And dab, dab, dab. Oh, got a little bit there. I'm gonna, I wiped it right off. Just wiped it right off. Now maybe you're not a dab, dab, dabber. Maybe you like to be specific where you put your colors. 
I'm going to go ahead and let's do, oh, maybe I'll do the blue. Or no, do I do the pink or do I do the blue? You kind of have to decide what's going to work best for you. For me, this is quick, easy, and effective. I don't have to give too much thought to it. I don't have to be too specific with anything. And I can make a super pretty butterfly. Did I leave my butterfly on the... Dab, dab, dab. Or I can color, color, color. Give a good press. I think that's pretty good. Oh, that is pretty good. Now, waft for just a second because it is ink and it does have to dry. But then you can come in and decide if you'd prefer to color as opposed to dab, dab, dab. You definitely have options. A little bit of water. Straight on the top. Oh, this is gonna be really light purple. Ooh, that's almost too light. Okay, let's go with a darker color. There we go. And that doesn't mean that I can't blend because I can. So I've done a little purple going on there. And now let's grab that blue. Take that blue right into that purple. And these colors are gonna melt together. That's what they're meant to do. They love water. They love reacting to each other. They love blending into each other. Oh, that's pretty. So dab, dab, dab is a little bit, the, the dab, dab, dab is a little bit more grungy, a little bit more mixed media. Mm, this is pretty. This is a little more watercolory. Look at how beautiful that's becoming. And easy, easy peasy. And I could take my yellow, a little bit of water. A little bit of blue on there. 
come in and put some yellow down. And maybe mix it. with a little bit of green. And you can use as much water that makes your heart happy. And then maybe I take a little bit of the blue and I'm not cleaning my brush, I'm just going. The colors are gonna blend together anyway. Oh, yay. <laughs> Yum. And I just go. Maybe a little bit more yellow. So there is no right, there is no wrong. It's just do. Yeah, okay. If I want a little more water, put a little more water in and I can totally dilute it on out. I could, even if I wanted to, I could even go in there and pick up the color. I just went in there and just dab that color right up. Now, once it's dry, it's dry and it's not going to react again. When it's dry, it doesn't move. You don't have to heat set or anything like that. But my goodness gracious, is that so pretty. All right. And do we want to, do we want to go around this one? Super light blue. And just kind of get rid of some of that. I could even take it into then the yellow. mix those two and a little bit of yellow down here and then I could finish it off with the green and just take it straight and really dilute that color down lots and lots of water Till it's the color you want it to be. Ooh! <laughs> 
Okay. So we have dabbed, dabbed, dabbed. We have painted. We have stamped. We have watercolored. And we have made pretty. Uh, I think I might just straighten this one out and call it done. You got this. You can do it all. One stamp. One stamp is worth the, well, the stamps I think retail for about $12.99 each. So one and a half stamps gets you the $19.99. But they're beautiful and they're easy and so affordable and so um, forgiving. The stamps are big. They allow you to color. And, and if you use them with Marabou or some other watercolor medium, because we're working on watercolor paper, which is what Ozzy Andrew Couture Creations has given you, some of their watercolor paper, it just is so forgiving. Watercolor paper lets you pick up the color, it lets you lay down the color, it lets you blend the color, and if you haven't played with watercolor paper, this is a great way to start. Yay, love them. All right, so the bundle, the bundle does not have the Marabou. I'll put the Marabou in only because I know that Marabou Michael can get the sets to me. These are sold in sets, not open stock. So you have to buy the four. It comes in four to a set, four colors to a set. If you already have Marabou, maybe you have gelatos. You could use gelatos to do this. Maybe you have Tim Holtz crayons to do this. They're going to act similar. The Marabou are going to be highly pigmented, a little bit more pigmented and more creamy than what is uh, typically on the market because it is a fine art medium. So I also want to show you this little gadget here. Hello, little gadget. It is part of the, oh, here we go. It is part of the bundle and it is the tape cutter. So here is Stacy tape. This opens up. This is how it comes. You put the Stacy tape or whatever double-sided adhesive tape you're working with, put it right through. There you go. Close it up on the bottom. And then you have a way to pull your tape and tear it off if you'd prefer to do that. It pulls and it tears and you can use it up to about an inch well no I guess maybe a maybe a, a about the half inch is about as wide as you can go and this is a half inch but it lets you use have a, a little tape dispenser for your eighth inch your quarter inch your three-eighths inch your half inch easy peasy mac and cheesy all right, so in the bundle, again, you've got the tape dispenser. You've got the cute little embellishments. You've got the ephemera, which you're going to see a sample of in one of the cards. You've got the watercolor paper. This is all $19.99. And then you've got, back up just a little bit. You've got one two, three, four, five different stamps as all part of the bundle. All right, let me show you samples. All right, so here we have our first one. Thinking of you, beautiful, isn't it? And then our butterfly, which is on a trifold. And, oh, and then we have our ephemera card. All of this came out of the die cut, even the sentiment. 
They just layered them on top of each other to make a beautiful little focal point. And even the sentiment came out of the ephemera. Then we have our tulips. Ooh. <laughs> and then we have our daffodils. Ooh. And the last one we have is our butterfly. So is it worth 20 bucks for you? I don't know. You have to make that decision. All I can do is bring you value and quality in our efforts to keep crafting affordable. People say, I don't know how she does it. Well, neither do I sometimes, but um, <laughs> I ask. And, um, and generally, they don't say no. <laughs> so until somebody says no, I'm just going to keep on asking. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing values, amazing bundles. And and gosh, if you're new to crafting or if you need to get gifts for somebody, this is a wonderful, wonderful way to do it. All right, you guys. So it's me, Stacy. I'm going to tilt on up and I'm going to say that we do have this available in our retail store. We're very limited very 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 limited how much we have of these bundles it's not a lot uh, it really isn't um i can only sell what they have and i'm not going to bring them to you just because we don't have oodles of them so you have to decide if this is something you really want if you're shopping in our retail store i suggest you call and have us personal shop for you and take it right off the the floor of this uh the the floor of the shop so it has your name on it and um and I have to say ready, set, but I'm not ready yet. I'm almost ready. I need to go turn everything on. So I'm going to stall for about two minutes. No, I'm going to stall for 30 seconds of time. Even maybe less than that because there's not this much. The Marabou crayons, you may have already picked them up as your YouTube product. And if you hadn't, you might want to add them in for this one. Uh, free shipping over $50. I don't know. So if you, I guess if you order three bundles, that would get you free shipping. <laughs> Since there's no open stock, or maybe the marabou crayons and the bundle, that would probably get you free shipping. Okay, I think I've turned everything on by now. It's me, Stacy, saying ready, set, go. The sale is now being made live. You should be able to find the product. Hit refresh if you can't. It'll load. It takes a few seconds for it to load, but it will be there for you. I hope you enjoy Make It Monday for today. I hope you see the value in the $19.99 bundles that... This one was over $90, so I, I hope you see the, the value to them, and I hope that it spoke to you, and that you said, hey, I can do that, because you know what? You can. Everything I did, you can do. I mean, I literally picked up a crayon, a, an art crayon, put the paintbrush to it, and then took it straight to the paper. You can do this. All right, you guys, I will see you Wednesday, Wednesday, Tim Holtz has a release. I will be live chatting at 9 a.m. in the morning when I bring you the latest and greatest from Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. Oh my gosh, we'll have them here. We'll, we'll, I'll have samples to show you. I have product to show you. Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. sunny California time. That would be 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern time or 8 p.m. in the UK, somewhere around there. But I will see you Wednesday. So I have Monday today, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday. It's a busy week. All right, you guys, it was great to have you part of our Make It Monday for today. I hope you enjoyed. And I'm Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you all Wednesday morning for Tim Stampers Anonymous. Wow. <laughs> I just had to. Bye, everybody. <laughs>